Hey everyone, thank you <clears throat> for all the subscribers, and if you don't mind, share, like this video, and uh, we definitely love having you here. Sorry I didn't get on last night, just have not felt well. I'm sick to my stomach, I'm just trying to battle through it, but I've just not been well. Seem like since I started this channel, boy, it's been one thing after another. Something does not want me on here, and I know what it is. The reason I wanted to get on here and talk to you, a lot of people. Uh, I was talking about the, the chat room that we're doing. Uh, Cindy is working on that. What I want you to do, if you truly want to be able to talk to us members of uh, these groups, we have one on Facebook, and it is called Chris's Ark. Now, what we need you to do, and I know a lot of you don't want to be on Facebook. I know this. But what I'm asking you to do is to start you an account, and just with that account, you don't have to add people or anything like that. But you can join the ARC. It's in the description box. All you do is click on that link once you start it. And then we can put you in rooms. And then any time that you feel that you need to have somebody to talk to, we're there. Okay? And I get a lot of messages from you. And trust me, you're my family. And I love you dearly. This ain't like other channels where the, the, the host don't want to fool with you. It's not why we're here. You're our family. We love each and every one of you. We're one big family. We really are. A lot of people get aggravated at me saying that. But it's very important today in a day where families are under attack everywhere. Hence the word woke in this generation. A lot of people don't even understand what woke is or what it means. Woke is not an analogy, people. Woke is an attack on the Bible. That's all it is. Everything that our government's putting out, Hollywood and everything, all it is, is the Antichrist. It's what it is. A lot of people won't tell you that, but it's just the truth. That's what it is. It's attack on families, the male, the female, everything's attack on the Bible. That's all it is. Once you start to realize and finally wake up and realize what's happening, you understand why we're in the end days and the end moments. Because that is what they're trying to push. They're trying to push his agenda. This is all his agenda. You know, a lot of people, when 2020 happened, a lot of people was like, well, why? The world's turned upside down. What's going on? It was him. I'm here to tell you right now, the Lord showed me he's here. Now, you can believe that or not, but I promise you, I would not lead you wrong. I would not tell you he's here. And not know it. But I can 100% guarantee you right now. He's behind all this. What's in Ukraine. And all this other stuff. That's him. The nations at each other's throats. That's him. All the other stuff. With the pokey pokey and all that stuff. That's him. Don't be deceived. Don't believe what you're seeing or hearing. It's all lies. It's not going to get better, people. He's already gaining so much power over this world. He's making his move. Don't think that he doesn't know, or Hollywood or the government, that the rapture is getting ready to happen. They know it's going to happen. That's the difference between them and Christians. Christians have no idea what's happening, but the other side knows exactly what's happening. They, they've been planning this for a long time. Christians are completely asleep, have no idea what's going on. They don't know if it's Tuesday or Wednesday because they don't read their Bible. And Satan has taken complete and utter advantage of that. And that's why you see where we're at. People telling you there is no rapture. There's no rapture. There's no rapture. The reason they're saying that is because Satan don't want you to be raptured. He wants you right here in the tribulation. That's where he wants you, people. Because he knows many of you won't even get off the ground. Many will be destroyed in the beginnings of World War III. It's what these other channels don't tell you. They tell you about the three days of darkness. Oh, Lord. That, you know, the boogeyman's going to come knocking on your door. That is a lie. Anybody tells you that, it is completely and utterly a lie. Will there be darkness? Yes, there will be. Right before. But it's nothing the way they explain it. It's not the boogeyman or anything coming or demons coming to your door. It has nothing to do with it. Nothing. What it happens is, is the beginning of World War III. 
And that's what they won't tell you. Because, see, these people don't want to believe that World War III really exists or it's going to happen. But I'm here to tell you 100% it will happen, and I've seen it. And that's why we, God had me start the channel to wake you up and get you ready for it. Because 95% of the planet will not see it coming. That's a scary percentage, but that is just the truth. They won't see it coming. There, I've told you over and over. One, you're going to wake up one day and go to work and everything's going to die. Everything. The cars are going to quit running. The planes are going to quit flying. It's going to happen. I've seen it. On a day like this, I've seen the world come to a screeching halt. And it's going to happen. Now, where are we in the timeline? That's what everybody asks. Well, I do know for a fact, me and Bonnie, we sat, we talked last night, as bad as I felt. We was thinking of the vision, and it might be the most prophetic vision God ever gave me. I mean, it's one from the Bible, really, the more I think about it. I mean, he actually, I think, gave me a timeline to share with you guys. And the more that I've tried to pick that dream apart, the more it's coming to life. And I mean, it's amazing. Now, in that dream that I had, I was walking through a devastated city. It was devastated like nothing I've ever seen. And I heard the Lord tell me, Chris, this is San Francisco. Then... And the craziest part of the dream I never understood until I think me and Bonnie figured it out last night out of all these times. For some reason, now we're figuring it out. But I saw five trumpets, not five literal, literal trumpets. And that doesn't mean that's the fi fifth trumpet in the Bible or anything like that. But it was five trumpet flowers, and they was white. Could not figure it out. And then we come to figure out last night, we do believe that that is April the 5th because that is an Easter flower also. I think that's what the Lord was trying to tell us. And that was the five because that is right about where we celebrate Easter this year. All these are signs. Now, what's going to happen on that day? I don't know, but I saw five trumpets and these was flowers. The weird part about the flowers was, as you can tell, I have a big yard and I have gardens and I have all kinds of different flowers that I do grow. I grow a lot of fruit trees. I have a chocolate tree in here. I do have an orange tree, banana trees, and I have mango trees and Lord only knows what else I've got that I actually grow. But in the dream, I was growing these trumpet flowers in Lenore, which is a long ways from here. And I was having to go down there and water them. But it was enough for me to remember the dream. That's what made them flowers stick out. Now, these flowers are also known as an Easter flower. Did not know that until last night when me and Bonnie was going over. And I was like, oh, Lord, Bonnie is right in front of us the whole time. Now, in this dream, I saw San Francisco. Then I saw the five trumpets. Then, after that, I was no longer here on earth. And the next event, I saw the Statue of Liberty turn from green to black. And then I saw two statues of Jesus. One was real, one was false. That was the Antichrist. The next event that I saw, I was it looking through the eyes of maybe a UN worker or whatever in America, of all places, not in another country. This was here. There was not much left of here people was in bad shape their skin had melted off their bones it was deformed it was from world war three it was horrible it was horrible to watch and then i saw him i saw him going to and from there was no stores anymore what was in the stores was so pitiful that it was very sad to watch but Everywhere he went, anything everybody wanted, by the wave of his hand, the things that showed up and they appeared. He had great power over people. He was a young man. He was, he was a color man. And no, he wasn't Middle Eastern. 
I remember what I saw. And the place I saw him at, of all places, I do believe was Cuba or Mexico. It was in one of those two places, I do believe. I'm not sure. Don't know that for a fact. But that looks like the area that he was at. And it was pretty bad there. Once America fell, the rest of the world started to starve. People don't realize what America does. The American people, the good Christian people that are out there, that make sure most of the world's fed. We don't take credit for that. But Americans are great people. You know, for many, many years, America has fed many, many nations and still does. And once America falls, and it will fall, most of the world will starve. And that's what I was seeing. God was showing it to me. So he gave me a defined timeline of what's going to happen. Most prophetic dream I've ever had, to be honest with you. And I knew I had to share it with you, you that are listening here. Now, are we supposed to be in fear like these other prophets are telling you, you know, lock your doors and all this junk? No. Do not fear anything coming to your door. Yeah, the lights are going to go off. Is that going to scare you? Heck no. Because you know you are a child of God. You have nothing to fear. You don't fear anything. You don't fear man. You don't feel fear weapons of mass destruction. You don't fear anything. Because you're a child of God. And you're awake. You're one of the few that's sitting here listening to this show right now. You're the resistance to the evil that the Antichrist is portraying over this world. He owns the media. He owns the entertainment. Don't be fooled. It is him. He is here. And he cannot be revealed until we're gone. That's how I know our time here is very short because he's gained this much power so fast that I know our time here is limited. And that's what God woke me up. That's why people cannot argue with me when it comes to the rapture. Before October the 24th, I was just like everybody else. I was completely and utterly asleep, having no clue, going about my days, completely and utterly not aware of what was happening until he woke me up. And then he told me to tell you, yeah, you, you're listening to this right now. To wake you up that our time was limited wasn't he's telling us oh get ready you're going to be through all this great torture and all this no that's not what he said he said i'm coming back get get my people before the tribulation so then i'm like at the point i'm like well lord i don't want to tell people this i, I got to see it myself can you take me to the Bible so I can specifically show them that you're coming to get his pe the people and they're, they're not supposed to have this wrath that everybody keeps telling them they're supposed to get? Not only did he take me to where the rapture was, he took me to where these other people said the rapture was or wasn't so I could discuss it with you. The people that's teaching there's no rapture, they're not of God. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, and people say, well, they won't lose their salvation. What does Paul tell us? If you teach a false gospel, that is not in the Bible, and it is you not. Got mail. You're a curse. So that's also false. If you preach anything other than the Word of God, it is false. So the Lord showed me what right, and let me tell you something. When I first, when I read it, and I understood that the second coming is when we come one time. I mean, it's so specific that I couldn't even understand how people don't get it and why it's so confusing. So I knew it had to be Satan. Had to be. Had to be Satan because it, a kindergarten kid could figure it out. It's that easy to figure out in the Bible. It's not hard. It's not confusing at all either. One, he comes in the clouds. But he don't step on earth. The dead rise first. Then we go, us that are uh, still alive, go up with them. Jesus don't come down. That's not the second coming. That's the rapture. Then the second coming, we come down with him on Mount Olive. It's right there, people. 
we're on horse and he's got his crown on and that that's when we come to save Israel in the war of Armageddon that's the second coming second coming is not in Thessalonians that's the rapture but Satan knows that the government knows that but the Christians have no clue because they don't know the Bible and that is because Satan has infiltrated the church so badly and most people do not know the Word of God and the ones who do have don't understand it whatsoever because they was taught wrong they was taught that the whole Bible is about them and it is not it's about two different peoples one his chosen people which are the Jews and the other is the Gentiles which is us the church once you learn and have the key to understand there's two different ones the Bible opens up, and the ones who are preaching there's no rapture are the ones who are reading what's for the Jews. That's why they get it confused. They get all their information out of Matthew. The Matthew, that's where they get everything for their post-trip. But I hate to tell you, the rapture was not revealed until it was real, revealed to Paul, and that was way before Paul. So right there it tells you that's a lie. They're talking... Also, since we're on the subject, a lot of people, I know you hear this every day, you can't know the day and time. That's not to the church either. That is in the tribulation. And if you learn how to rightfully divide the Bible, know who he's talking to. He's telling them they won't know. And I'm going to tell you why they won't know the day and the time, because the time will be cut short. There will be from 365 to 360 days. In the tribulation. Also, the days will be much darker. You will not have the light that you have now. Some days, the light might not even show. See, the people don't teach you that. But that's just the way it's going to be. The days will be shortened, and that's why they won't know the day and the hour. Because the days and the hours won't exist. There won't be a calendar in the tribulation. You won't know days from... Adam, I mean, it's going to be that bad. But if God didn't do that, nobody would survive in the tribulation. That's what he's talking about. So that don't even have anything to do with the rapture. You will know when the rapture happens. Because he told you, if you are watching for the rapture, I won't come as a thief in the night. It's about knowledge, people. And that's where we're at. The Christians have no knowledge of the Bible. They're teaching everything wrong backwards, and it's confusing a lot of the population. And that's why, sadly, that only 1% is rapture ready. Not even 1%. That the Lord told me, and it made me sick for two days. Couldn't believe that number. Felt it's very disappointing. But I understand it, because this is the great falling away that he spoke of. And see, Paul talks about that in 2 Thessalonians, about the, you know, at that time they thought Jesus come back, and they was all freaking out, and they was talking to Paul. And Paul says, no, he said, Jesus will not come back until the great falling away. And you wonder why everything's happening right now so bad. Well, it's going to get a lot worse once the church is gone, because then the Holy Spirit the great restrainer, which a lot of churches, they'll tell you that's not the Holy Spirit, but it is. And once it's gone, the earth is free to reign over, and God lets Satan just run amok. Because that's what everybody wants. It's what the church wants. That's why everybody's so obsessed about knowing who the Antichrist is. Oh, who is he? I want to know. we got to be in the tribulation so I can see him. They're obsessed. And they will get their opportunity because they won't wake up. When they could have easily bypassed the whole thing, and I promise you, many have seen it, but when it does happen, many will cry and scream to the heavens for Jesus to come back and get them. They're going to, because they know they screwed up. Everybody's seen it. God has showed us so we could tell people to warn them about this. And they still will not listen, and they will be stuck here in hell on earth. And people think, well, in the tribulation, I'm just going to go to Wally World. 
I'm going to do my shopping. No, there ain't going to be no Wally World. There ain't going to be no food. There ain't going to be no water. It's going to be pure chaos. You'll be running from place to place. You won't be able to stay in your home because everybody's going to tattletale on you if you don't get the mark. That's why I love you and I'm on here trying to get you to not go through it. A lot of channels on here, well, you know, you got to let them go through it because that's good for them. You know, and I'm like, you're an idiot and you don't need to be on YouTube. I love you is the reason I don't want you to go through it. I'm trying to save you and your family and your friends from having to go through it when you don't have to. And that's why I'm here or any other reason I wouldn't be here, have other things to do. But I'm here because I'm trying to help you avoid it. That's why. I love you and your family. You're just like me. We've all had these rough times and we live in a world that's so corrupt and evil that we just feel so alone. And I wanted to do something about that. That's why I started the channel. So you wouldn't be alone. That you're my brothers and sisters. I don't know you and I don't care what color you are, what side of the world you're on. You're still my brothers and sisters. God made you just like he did me. And I know you're alone. And that's why I'm here, to let you know you're not alone in these last days. And as I told you, I'm going to be here with you until we are pulled out of here. Because you're not alone. Jesus is with us. That's why he wanted to start the channel. So you, you would not be alone in these times. He knew when you'd go out and talk to people, they'd spit in your face. And you would be alone. And you would get so discouraged. Look at the Stevens over there in Britain. They're going through the lion's den, people. Going through the lion's den. But they get up every day, and they go straight to war. The other day, they both went into a Muslim community. Souls were saved. Anybody else say, you can't go in there. That's bad. Did the Stevens listen to that? Heck no, they went straight into the lion's den. We could all use their courage and what they're doing, and they'll be blessed for it. And you're right, some of us, we're, we're old, we can't do that stuff anymore. But we're prayers. Prayers is just as important as those that go into the lion's den. You protect the ones with prayer that's going into the lion's den. We've all got a job. No excuse. Excuses are over. We're almost out of here. But I'm going to tell you, we're almost home. I want you to hang in there. Be a light in the darkness, because let me tell you something. The Lord is telling me that in the upcoming week and a half, things are going to get really, really bad. Can't believe what you're seeing either. Can't believe what you're told. But he's going to start revealing stuff that's hidden. But the world is going to start to collapse. And you're going to start seeing it more and more in the next couple of weeks. People are going to be scared. But not you. Like JoJo started up his own channel. If you see him in there, click on his name. He's got his own channel now. So many of you rising to the test. Rising to the top. And the world's going to need you. This ain't about me. I've told each and every one of you, start your own channel, do your own thing, be your own person. And, I, and you all have done that in success. Clint, the list goes on and on. So many of you, Angela, Cindy and Chuck, with what they're doing with their cups and mugs and amazing people they sent me across. Uh, it's like a uh, odor uh, thing you put in your car. I don't know, for some reason, my, my brain ain't wrapping around what they're called, but uh, I hang it up in my truck. I mean, they do an amazing job. She does an amazing job with the ARC. Uh, her and Chuck are just wonderful people. Thank God for them. I thank God every day. But so many of you I've never met, but you're still my family. Every one of you. Don't ever forget that. And a lot of you, you know, has been supporting the Jews, I don't have your names right now, two of you. I, I, 
you know, last night made huge contributions to the Jews. I appreciate that. On Buy Me a Coffee. And I appreciate that so much because, you know, the Jews needed that a lot of these people are still being sent to Israel from other countries and they can't support themselves. They have no food, no medicine. And these donations make sure that they get that. And I appreciate that. Uh, I will get your name in the next video because I will be doing another one. Uh, I apologize. I should have had it done before I got on here. But like I said, I've not felt well. But I appreciate all the donations that you guys give. Like I said, that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to make money. I've told everybody the secrets of this thing. Yeah, you get paid per click. That's why you have a lot of channels on here to give these great big false titles. Because they, every time you click, they get paid. I just warn you about that. That's why, you know, you got to watch what you're watching. But see, they don't get on here and tell you and motivate you tell you not to fear they get on here and make you fear that's not god that's not jesus it's not about fear we're about being a light in the darkness and that's what you are and i appreciate all the work each and every one of you have done you every one of you with your prayers and you going out you brought a lot of people to jesus and you woke a lot of people up and we didn't have much time but you all have been amazing. And I thank each and every one of you. So keep your head up. We're almost out of here. We're one day closer. We might be minutes closer. And if you ever wonder how to find me in heaven, all you got to do is think of me and you'll appear right in front of me. Just think of me and that's how you'll do it. Up there when you get your glorified body, it's as easy as thinking of somebody and poof, there you are. So drop in any time. I'll be glad to meet you, hang out with you. Like I said, we're one big family, and we'll be a big family up there also. So keep your heads up. Watch what you're listening to. Like I said, it's all lies. you got to understand, he controls the narrative and all the media you know, on both sides. So be aware of this. And know that Jesus is coming soon. Probably, it could be any time. So keep your eyes up on the sky. If you don't see or hear from me again, I'll see you in heaven.